I'm just, um, it's Labor Day, Monday, so I've got the day off. And today I am contemplating happiness. Um, Casey Neistat posted something earlier this week that I watched yesterday, so I've been thinking about it since then. And it's just a kind of a little blurb where he talks about he actually talks about what he's chasing. Um, he talks about his ambition, how he is happy. He's not chasing happiness himself. But it got me thinking about my own situation and how I have not been happy for quite a while. And the cancer is actually just a very small part of it. Uh, there's a lot of other stuff going on in my life that some of it is out of my control. Some of it I have a little bit of control for or of. And I have been trying to do something about it, but so far it's not working. Um, stress, uh, work is really stressful. Um, I'm trying to change that. The job is not quite what I had thought it would be. So I am looking at options there. I'm I'm trying to figure out what to do next. Um, you know, my living situation is not optimum. I'm, you know, and there goes my neighbor again. He's been working on his house for two years and so every day the sawing and the hammering go off and I thought I had a quiet moment but it's just gonna go on so gotta ignore it <laughs> um, even during the hurricane he was out there <laughs> the hurricane that didn't happen um, but you know, it just made me think, you know, Casey's video made me think about my own situation more. And I don't know. I, I guess that's one of the things you have to look at in your own life. And, you know, there are some things that are, are definitely out of my control. I would be so much happier if my daughter and my grandkids were here with me. I think that would just take a lot of the stress off. Just sort of like, sort of like cuddling a puppy or a kitten. Just the factor, you know, just having them here would just make my life easier in a way that I didn't have the stress of them being on another continent basically um, but that's out of my control right now can't really do anything about that you know and unless I win the lottery that Hawaii doesn't have so um, you know then my job is my biggest stress right now um, as I said it's not going the way I had Thought it would go when this company hired me about a year and a half ago. Um, and I'm sitting here holding the camera because I don't have my tripod here at home with me. So that's why if it looks a little shaky, that's why. And so I'm not going to make this real long, but just... Uh, I, I don't know, you know, I felt it was something to talk about that, that some people are basically happy in their lives. And I was for a while. And I mean, I went through long periods of time where I was in deep depression. I was on medication. And... I, I actually I had gone through and I thought I was okay and I was actually feeling really good and then the cancer came in 
the job changed kind of all of it all at once I mean I was my job changed and I was diagnosed with the cancer within about three months of each other and I you know I had all these grand plans for moving that got put on hold I you know and then with Tucker getting sick it's like it seems like every day or at least every week something breaks that I'm going to have to pay to either replace or have fixed and I don't have the money for it. Money is a big major concern right now and if I keep going back to that that's because it there's just not enough right now and it's not like I can solve that problem overnight I know that but part of that is the job situation But, you know, it, money's been a concern of, for a long time. I mean, I was a single mother, you know, raised my daughter all on my own. I've always had money problems, it seems like. And so I think it's just everything piling up is kind of the problem. If I didn't have the cancer, if I didn't have the job stress, the money would be nothing, you know. But because it's all coming at once it's just too much so I don't know I, I really don't know the purpose of this video other than just kind of trying to get some stuff off my shoulders Um, I don't know. Uh, it, chasing, chasing happiness, it seems kind of elusive right now. I know it's out there somewhere, you know, but I don't know how far away it is. Anyway, it's really a nice sunny day. Um, you know, people are out on the ocean sailing. It, it's really gorgeous out. I'm doing laundry. <laughs> Seems like I'm always doing laundry when I'm home. Um, because we all share a washer and dryer. I have to get in when I can. I don't really have any choices to it. So, anyway, um, think about your own happiness and you know, the things you can appreciate and the things you can count on and rely on and, and where you have left to go. Uh, and hopefully I will be back with a more upbeat video next time. I'll see you later. Aloha.